guys, it's Nicole Zine. In today's video, I am going to do kind of an eyeshadow collection tour. Um, it's not to brag about my collection. It's not to do any sort of thing about my collection. I just thought it would be kind of an interesting topic. I saw Porcelain do this the other day on hers. I'm not going to be decluttering anything, however, in that, in my, like, collection thing, because I like to use everything up till it's gone or dead with, and if not, I donate it or get rid of it. Um, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to do that today. Just kind of go over what my collection is. Um, or last, in 2018, I got very into collecting eyeshadows, which is actually a major problem. And I need to stop buying eyeshadow palettes, and you'll probably see why. Um, but I tried completing a bunch of collections of eyeshadows. So, uh, Sasha Beverly Hills, Julia's Place, and Colourpop. I also have a bunch of other things too, so I'm just going to go show you everything. We'll open up our palette, just kind of show you guys an overall feel of them, not doing a review of them in this video. And I might leave a list to all my eyeshadow palettes down below, not linked to any of them. But considering just how many there are, I don't think I'm going to do that just because I don't have a lot of time to do that. But just so you guys are aware, that, that is what we are doing today. So let me bring out my eyeshadow palettes because they're in a closet and it is pitch black in there. So I'm just going to bring them out, set them on my bed, and we'll open them up one by one. And we'll kind of just show you guys what I have in my collection. So yeah, let's jump into it. Alright, so here is my collection pulled out. Um, this basket is more or less my drugstore basket. And this one is more or less my high-end basket. Um, this one does have a few that actually could fit in this palette. Or in this section. But this one's pretty full. And this is pretty full. That's why I don't need any more eyeshadow. So let's um, jump into it. I gotta hold the camera. I don't have a tripod. So excuse me if I... This is not the best of angle for anything. Um... Let's start on the drugstore side. Um, so this entire half right here is Colourpop. From here, all the way to here. And you'd be like, what are these two about? Uh, this is Soul and Mar. I uh, did do a review originally on these. Uh, my original Mar palette, or Soul palette, went to my mom. And my original Mar palette went to my sister. So just to show you guys what they look like. There is Mar. This is Soul. And then in my original Soul palette, that shade was broken. So I got a new one and just. Also, because then I liked how these four all are colored versus before these two were white. So it just makes it easier to find palettes. Uh, this is the Ooh La La. I am missing one of these nine palettes, which is brown sugar. I might get it. But considering how much I have, I really shouldn't. Um, so that is those guys. And then here is the wet palette, which is what I'm wearing today. You guys were seeing that look on Sunday. And then this is the other Bretman Rock palette, lit. And then I do have all the Juvie's Place ones here. I'm just gonna, whoop, sit down. All right, next we have this guy, which kind of looks like this. I'm sorry, my camera is not in focus. Do me as in, or focus it. There we go. It isn't out of focus as it goes, so if things get out of focus, I apologize. Uh, here's Rendezvous. I don't put these in any particular order. It's just wherever the uh, last thing I grab, it just comes pulled out. I have time to go like, in the front. So here's Sweet Nothings. It's kind of the order that I have last to use them in is more or less how it goes. But right now I'm trying to put in the same order I had it in. Uh, give it to me straight. Which is pretty. Mm, that's out of order. Uh, good support. Just going to keep these all out of order here. Uh, this guy is the Zodiac. Which 
I have used quite a bit recently. And next we have the She Palette, or the Femme Rosa. I said I was trying to collect these all. I think I'm just going to put them like that. Um, next we have Give It To Me. Oh, I already did that one. Let me put that one back in the front. Okay. Uh, this guy is the Double Entendre. It looks like that. And then... We have this guy, which is the I Think I Love You. I just had to look at these because they are identical <laughs> packaging. That's what that guy looks like. Which now they have gotten stuck on the palette, which is making it difficult to put things away. <laughs> um, next, we have the next Kathleen Lights palette, which is Dream Street, which I really love this palette. Something exploded. This is probably my favorite palette ever. And then we have the You Have Me at Hello palette. Mine does not, ha actually it does. If you peel that off, it actually says Lumi by Kathleen Lights, which actually I think was the collab they were going to do. Then they decided not to do that one due to the Snapchat controversy she had. Then they did this Dream Street, and now they've done the Zodiac. Um, next up in our 12, pound, 12 pan palettes, these are hard to get out. <laughs> I constantly have issues with them. That's why I don't need more makeup. Um, this is my little pony palette. And I do use all these. The problem is I have just so many. It's hard to use them all. Like, a lot. I'm just going to take these guys out. Alright, this guy is the Yes Please palette. I couldn't remember for a second there. That's that guy. And then this is the Element of Surprise. I'm just going to leave these guys out for a moment and I'll put them all back later. Um, next we have the Perception palette with Shayla. Gorgeous. Then we have Fortune. And Fame. Um, next we have Chasing Rainbows, which is gorgeous. I love that one. Um, this one I just did a review on my blog, which is Through My Eyes. So pretty. And then we have my individual palettes. Um, I need to figure out a better system for organizing these. So this guy is my Blacks and Whites, and then Glass Bowl, my absolute favorite individual shadow. These aren't all car pops, some of these are NYX. Then we have this guy, which is blues and peach. Followed by my red and yellow dream palette. I am falling. <laughs> um, my rounds. Blues, the screens. And purple. Lastly from ColourPop, we have the Disney palette. Which looks like that. Sing on. I think I might do these videos in two parts. So this is the darker part, and I'll do the luxury part in our video. So look out for this one coming later. Um, this is my Juvie's place one. So I go to here, and then I have Nyx behind there. So here is the Afronique palette, which is a really pretty lime green one. And then we have. The Nubian. Basic one. Kind of looks a little bit like, um, Give It To Me Straight from ColourPop. Why did I do that? I'm going to be able to put it back in. No! Alright, then we have the Saharan. Which I actually do really like this now that I have realized this, um, green, brown, maroon duo shift that makes the black really easy to work with. Um, the Tri Palette, which looks like this. And then the Warrior 2. I have reviews on every single one of these on my blog. You can type in Juvie's Place. They'll all pop up. This is Dolce. Uh, 
Festival. And this is me and if Oliver, Zulu. <laughs> See, it's like all just falling. <laughs> Uh, Saharan 2, which may or may not be my favorite one of the Juice Waste Pots. Uh, Warrior. Gorgeous. Uh, I only have the mini versions of these. They actually do have big pan versions. But this is Magic. Masquerade. I'm trying to like the mini version of these just purely because it makes it easier to fit in this. And the last Nubian Place palette one is the Nubian 2. Big boy. Alright, I'm gonna get the next ones out, put the Dewey's Way back in, and we'll be right back. Alright, first next palette is the Steam palette, which kind of looks like this. Don't have a lot of that in my collection, as you guys can tell. Uh, next, these are in order, it's just literally what I have pulled out as the Air palette which is your pastels and then we have the water palette pretty ah that's what exploded the blue <laughs> i need something exploded uh earth so pretty and then fire which looks like that I have another palette and I was like, ooh, I want it so bad. And then I keep looking at it and I'm like, it's literally the Earth palette. And I just dug up that shade. Sorry, shade. <laughs> you just gouged it. Oops. Alright. Next from the Indie Elements palette, we have Wind. Which I don't get how that one's Wind. That one looks like Storm. To me, which may be why it's called Wind, but that's not a good storm. Then we have Metal. Pretty. I hardly ever use this because I keep forgetting about it though. But I'm not getting rid of it because they're so gorgeous. And because I literally just got that not even that long ago. Um, then we have the Avant Prop palettes. I'm not going to open it just because you can see what it is. Uh, this one is the Art Throb. And then this one is uh, Nove Chic Avant Pop. I've used these quite a lot. Uh, then we have the Ultimate Brights palette, which I like using for any type of fun look. And that's Drugstore. Uh, then we have the Night palette, which looks like this. And then we have the Rebel palette, which actually was a uh, ASOS exclusive, but I got it off the next website, like most of these guys, which kind of looks like this. And then lastly, for NYX and the Drugstore, we have Grind. Which looks a little something like that. So that was my entire drugstore collection. Really, any palette that was under $20 is what went in here. Uh, a few of these are $25, but mostly all these are $20 or less. Over there is anything that's more than that, exception being this palette, which I think was $18. But I had no room for it in this. If I wanted to be able to pull things out and not be Struggle Town, where the site is now at Struggle Town, so that's what I was trying to avoid, so that's why this is over here. Um, but we'll go over this basket in the next video, so stay tuned for that. So that was my entire drugstore collection. Not to brag, not to do anything, just purely thought it would be interesting. You guys would like to see it. So if you did enjoy it, give it a real thumbs up. Subscribe to get the help back, and I'll see you guys in the next video, where I'll be going over the luxury collection. Or the high-ender, whatever you want to call it. See you then. Bye!